<laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Hello and welcome to your Tuesday. Look, it's a nothing day. So you've got to do what you've got to do to find joy. And for you and me, Jack, it means that we are en route to Sydney yes. to go crazy at the Priceline Prescription Live event. Tomorrow morning. I'm pumped for that. And... To be transparent, we're in Melbourne, Swanee, and the Mm. weather here today is awful, and in Sydney it is bliss, so let's just get us there. Let's get us there. Let's get you to uh, four o'clock unscathed. Yes. We've got another chance for you to go and see our girl (gasps) Kylie in Las Vegas. You've got to register via the Nova player. You know, I've been in radio for 20 years, and still... My favourite thing about this job is sending people overseas on a plane to an event. I just never get sick of it. And, like, I'd just be happy with a free trip to Vegas, but thrown in Kylie Minogue, intimate and live. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Also next, who am I? Who am I? A queen in the kitchen? Could be. Now find your queen vanilla in the baking aisle to discover how a little queen does wonders in your bakes. What's my name? Who is it? Chrissy Swans. Who am I? You know, I'm mad for specifically the queen vanilla paste. It comes in a tube... And I'm always, I put it in absolutely everything, like pancakes, cakes, muffins, anything. Are you at the point of just eating it straight from the tube yet? Or I no? have tried. It's not as good straight from the tube. Really? But I do have a new use for it. What is that? So Peg is enjoying yogurt and fruit in the morning. And let's face it, natural Greek yogurt is no fun for kids. Yeah. Got to be sweeter, got to be tastier. Even I have to whack some honey on it. Exactly. Squirt a bit of the vanilla ah. into the natural yogurt and bang, flavour sensation. I need to go and buy some because I'm all about fruit and Greek yogurt for Look, breakfast. I'm, Look, I may have about 20 tubes of it okay. from a shoot I did. I'll bring one in for you. Hello, Casey. How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? I'm so good. Are you going to be doing any baking this week? Are you a baker? Um, I like to think I am, but I'm not the best. <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as you're in there. You know, my gran always said, never cook in a bad mood because the cakes won't rise. And I do believe that that is true. I like that, yeah. Let's get you some cash, my girl. I've got five clues here about a particular celebrity and $500 cash to give mm-hmm. away. But for each incorrect guess you make, I'm going to take away $100. Well, Jack will because I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, Casey? Yes. Clue number one. People recently criticised the appearance of my teeth, saying they look rotten. And I'm going to have to agree with it. I would they do. never normally comment on someone's appearance, but you would think a person of this wealth would be able to go see a dentist. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. It's like, mate, one of your characters has rotten teeth. You don't have to. And would it smell? Oh, my God. Like the bottom of a wheelie bin. Casey, no no guesses? Not for that one, no. Clue number two for $400 cash. I have been involved in a very public court trial. Netflix even recently released a whole documentary on it. Everyone was watching this unfold live on court TV, which I still don't understand how is legal <laughs> Neither. or moral. How good, though, for us? No, not good. Sorry, it's yeah, none no. of our business. Horrible. <laughs> Clue number three for $300 cash, Casey. I reckon people might be screaming in their cars or on their Depp? website. Yes, it is Johnny Depp. <laughs> Listen, you were well and truly after the buzzer, but I, I make the rules around here. I don't, by the way. But that's $400. No, that's $300 cash. No, it's 400 Oh, Casey, I can't be bothered fighting because it's Tuesday. You've got $400, mate. <laughs> oh, my God, amazing. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. No one, especially women of a certain age, should ever feel invisible, disconnected or unimportant. Priceline Pharmacy celebrates you and all your uniqueness at every age because it Priceline, it's always a festival of you. Head in store online at priceline.com today, you. The Chrissy Swan Show. To my beloveds at Priceline Pharmacy, and the reason I'm talking about them is because A, I'm obsessed, and B, we are heading today to Sydney. Um, and I'm so excited because they have a little thing that they call the Prescription Live yes. event, which is like a trade show. But your money is not good there. Oh, it's I oh know it's invitation only. You get to talk about amazing skincare and makeup and all the new hot stuff 
contour cubes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you get to put it in a pink trolley that they give you. And you fill that sucker up. <laughs> and I've been banging on I've only ever been to one. Yep. And it was earlier this year and it changed my life. And I've been banging on about it forever. And I I can't believe that the day is here that we're about to do it again t- tomorrow. And you're coming, Jack. We've, uh, we've organised for Corinne, a beautiful listener of the Chrissy Swan Show, to come with her bestie. We're going to go crazy and you're going to see me test positive for Freeva. <laughs> All right? The fever is that feeling you get when you can't get enough free stuff. And that's going to be me tomorrow and you're going to be repulsed and I don't care. No, I love it. I'm going to see Chaotic Chrissy like live. Absolutely. Like full chaotic. Absolutely. There's going to be a pink dress. There's going to be a hair weave. You know, there, it, there's a, It's going to be a lot. Okay? okay. But I, of course, feel guilty that I can't bring everybody to the event yeah. with me because I want you to experience it and I want you to experience it. So- I can't do that. I'm not allowed. But what I can do is pick yourself up, pick something up for you. Just like when you're at home and you're going out to the milk bar to get some milk and you say, does anyone need anything? Someone might say, yeah, can you get me a caramella koala? Can you get me a tub of Halo Top, whatever? Maybe that's just my kids. Do you do that to your kids? Because my housemate often asks me and I feel too bad. So I'm like, nah, all good, all good. And then two, two hours later, I'm milk running stuff. Like well, I- that's stupid. <laughs> if, some- if someone offers to get something for you. Take them up on the offer. And this is what I'm asking you to do. The Chrissy Swan Show. What can I get you from the Beauty Prescription Live event tomorrow? What can I get you? Andrea, what would you like? I'm, I'm making a list. Thank you. Can I please have the Revlon Matte? Um, first? You recommended oh. it on my list, one my endless list in my phone, and I will get it. One day, Andrea, days, can days. I tell you, your life is about to change. On the weekend, my mum came over, Pat Swan, and I said to her, try this lipstick. It's the Revlon Baum, Matt Baum or something, Baum. Uh, yep. And you know, community service announcement, you, you wind it up from the base. You don't need to sharpen it. <laughs> Chaotic Chrissy has done that test for Yes, you. and here is the uh, review from Patty Swan. She just said, Lippy is very lovely. P kiss. Wow. So that. there you go. That is on the list. Any special colours that you like? Is it like a bright um, or a matte sort of like um, uh, lip colour? Pinky red sort of colour is my favorite. I know exactly the one. It's on the list, Andrea, coming at you. Thank you so much. Peter, what can I get you? It's Lana Lip that I'd love. What am I putting on lip right gloss. now? What am I putting on right now, Jack? Lana Lips. <laughs> Lana Lips. It's awesome, isn't it? How good is it? <laughs> I know, it's great. I'm actually at the shop to buy some today for my daughter. Well, you know, you can't have both, Peter. (laughs) Well, I'll I'll be happy to take yours if you're offering. Okay, yes, I'll put some in the basket for you, Peter. It really is the best. And by hers, you're getting like the used version (laughs) that Chrissy's got, Peter. (laughs) I'll get you. I'll get you the... I'll take anything. (laughs) Peter, I'll get you the fresh one, of course. Sandy, what, uh, what am I picking up for you, my love? Well, I I really need a mascara, but I need a recommendation. I'm terrible at choosing them, mm. and and I'm a real. I always end up with smudges under my eyes. So okay, I thought Christy will be able to solve this. Yeah, absolutely. Because I feel like there's you know unfinished business for every woman vis a vis mascara. It's like the eternal search at the moment. I'm using one. I think it's Maybelline. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a two-step, so you put a primer ooh, on. Ooh. Ooh. God, I wish I could remember the – it's in my bag. It's in my bag. Ooh. I can find out what it is, but I'll try and get you that one because I really like it. The other ooh. thing I can recommend is a waterproof, and I I never usually use waterproof, but they've come no. a long way. Oh, see, I normally don't either, so that's good to know. All right, I'm willing to have a crack. All right, I will get you a waterproof, and with that I'll also pick up some oily micellar water because you're going to need that to take it off. That's the Ooh, only okay. thing. Oh, thank you, thank you. All and right. I'm, I'm a bum bag girl, so I'll keep it in my bum bag. Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know, <laughs> let's not even do an Ancestry.com test because we are related. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, Swanee, your lash game has been very strong at the moment. People say it looks like I've had a lash lift. What you need is Maybelline Sky High Primer, then Maybelline Surreal Mascara. It's a two-step job. We love It's that. a two-step and it bloody works. And you are the last person I'm going shopping for. What can I get you? Lucky last, Chrissy. I would like the L'Oreal Revitalift 
day and night cream. Consider it done, you South African minx. (laughs) 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 The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. All right, very exciting news. I nearly lost my mind when I saw this. Rock icon Stevie Nicks. She's one of my queens. I know that. From Fleetwood Mac. She's been immortalised as a Barbie doll. Have a listen to her announcing it in concert. About a year ago, Mattel asked me if I was interested in doing my own Barbie. In the midst of being a rock star and all the problems that come with that, you know, addiction and everything, it's like, no, I didn't really think about it. However, so they come to me and they go, are you interested? And I'm like, of course I'm interested! She absolutely has my heart. And I hope that you all love her as much as I do. Now, the first, uh, the first thing I thought of was, I hope this Barbie... This is not a word of a lie, Jack, because you sent me the article and I lost my mind and then I sent back, I can't see the picture. And the reason I needed to see the picture was because I wanted to know if this Barbie had her signature tambourine with ribbons hanging off it. Oh, you must have been thrilled. And the minute I saw it, there she is, magnificent Stevie Nicks doll in a witchy outfit Holding a tambourine with ribbons off it. It looks so good, Swanee. Mattel have nailed it. The pose, the outfit, the hair, like it's sick. It is magic. And of course it's sold out. You cannot get one. And if you're a Fleetwood Mac fan or a Stevie Nicks fan, and everybody is, this is the song that came to mind when I saw the doll. It's very much this era. Apparently she's this it's from her rumors time. But if this Barbie could dance, she'd be dancing to Gold Dust Woman. A hundred percent. Just swaying. Do you love this song? Do you know yeah. this song? No, I didn't until you just we just got it then and oh it's a vibe. God. You wait I mean, we're not gonna wait for it to kick in, but add it to your list and wait for it to kick in and you will lose your mind. You know you're alive. I'll watch I'll listen to it on the plane. It could potentially be my new take off song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if if Chrissy Swan oh. was to have a Barbie, what would she be wearing? Oh, I mean, so boring, but active wear. Stacks official active wear and a bum bag. Okay, I I respect that, though. You know, and in the bum bag, you know, everything that I usually forget. You know what I mean? There's just one addition that I really need her to have. What? The big gold hoop. Oh, yes. The signature hoop. I must have the gold hoop and orthotics in my weird (laughs) shoes. (laughs) Um, All right, now let's talk bears. There's this uh, video that's going around that I absolutely love. A black bear has crashed a, f- crashed a family picnic in Mexico. So imagine this. It happens every weekend all over the world, including Mexico, where families bring food to a park and they all eat it and say happy birthday. Yeah. It's great because you can throw everything out there and you don't have to clean up anything. That's Best. the point. But in right in the middle of uh, said birthday party, a bear jumps on top of the table and starts chowing down on the tacos and enchiladas. The woman, the mother, just calmly... You know, black bears are very vicious. Very. I watched Cocaine Bear, the movie. <laughs> right. It was nuts. Te- it will tear your face off. Yeah. This woman becomes a pillar of serenity and just shields her child's face. They are 30 centimetres from the bear. And you can hear in that audio, you hear the bear proper scoffing and licking. Listen, like- listen. I mean, the terror... The terror. And it reminds me, what happens when your kids are in danger? You become like a superhero. I went to the revolting monkey forest in Ubud in Bali. Never again. Do not go there. I would never. It is disgusting, right? It is so terrifying. It's not cute. Okay. Right? It's like walking through a dark street in New York in the 80s. Do you know what I mean? Like they're pickpockets. They're awful. Not safe. They attack you. And I had three small children One of them bared its teeth and screamed at Kit, who was about seven at the time. He raced out of the forest. Meanwhile, this monkey was... Then I had Peg with me, who was almost a baby, maybe five, six. This monkey was climbing up my dress and eyeballing me. I know. And Peg was looking at me and looking at the monkey. And I was like, this is the last day of my life. (laughs) My child is going to see my face torn off by this rabid, disgusting, half-tailed festering, sex-mad monkey. R.I.P. Chrissy Swan. It was so scary, but the voice that came out of me was this. 
whole hood <laughs> at the monkey. <laughs> so I totally get this terrified mother. Plus, I mean, who can resist a table full of tacos? Right. Is that I blame the bear? This is the Chrissy Swan Show. I mean, where else are you going to find a show that accepts orders from listeners for Lano Lips? discusses Stevie Nicks' tambourine with ribbons off it and gives damning reviews of the hideous monkey forest in Bali. Where else are you going to find it? Nowhere, Swanee, is the answer to that. Absolutely nowhere. Let's rock on for another hour. I'm uh, I'm going to be reading some texts from my mum. She's experienced an unbelievable adventure oh, and lived wait. to tell the tale. I live for some Patty Swan. We're also going to be giving away $1,000 cash because there was a code word on The Masked Singer last night. Correct. And one of you lucky people have registered that via the Nova Player app. Speaking of lucky people, register via the Nova app for your chance to fly to Las Vegas to see our girl Kylie in her basically sold-out residency. But next... Quizzy. I just love this. I love the regularity of it. Every day at this time, I get to speak to you and I get to give away a bum bag. Isn't it just great, Michael? Great time to be alive. It is, it is so excellent. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm dying. Why, why are you dying? What's just happened? breathe through it. Uh, because I am a teacher and I'm supposed to be in class in literally three minutes. Oh, my but God. Anyway, okay. Okay. Let's get you this <laughs> bum bag and get you out of there. Linda, Incredible. we've got to be quick because Michael's a teacher and he's very important. He's got to get back to school, all right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Let's get cracking. Your name is your buzzer, Sir Michael. It's the best of five, <laughs> meaning the first person to get three answers correct wins the game and walk away with the money can't buy. Chris, you want to show bum bag? Question number one. We talked about a Kardashian sister being left out of a group chat on yesterday's show. Which sister was it? Michael. Yes, Michael. Is it Chloe? No, it's uh, Courtney. Question yes. number two. Froyo is an abbreviation for what food? Michael. Yes, Michael. Frozen yogurt. Correct. Don't have to stay behind class if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Question number three. It's Gwen Stefani's birthday today. She's 53. Can you name a single Gwen Stefani? Linda. Michael. Yes, Ma- Linda. Uh, the sweetest game? Yes, I'm going to have to give it to you, Linda. Please don't talk over your schoolmates. <laughs> Michael, see, see me after class. Question number four. Who was unmasked on The Masked Singer last night? Michael. Yes, Michael. Um, who was it? It was uh, the name From of the, the person. From the block. Uh, oh, it was um, Shana Blaze. Yes, it was Shana Blaze. Who knew? Question. Well, score check, Jack. <laughs> Two points to Michael, one to Linda. Michael, this next one is for the win, Linda. You've still got it. Which reality show did we first meet Jessica Mowboy on? Michael. Yes, oh, Michael, Linda. for the win. Australian Idol. Now go straight to class. I'm going to put an apple in the bum bag and some chalk <laughs> because I'm very oh, old, Michael. Incredible. Oh, don't give me a detention, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. For your chance to have Thank a crack you. at Chrissy's Quizzy, register by the Nova Player and we'll play again tomorrow. The Chrissy Swan Show. I'm lucky enough to still have a mum. I know some... You know, a lot, of, a lot of people have lost their mums and they would be desperate for these text messages to come through. My mum is... Are you allowed to talk about people's ages? I think so, if it's your own mum. She's over 80, anyway. Yeah. And um, still living. Like, will not say die. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to be exactly the same. Love that. I can tell. It's good that you know you've got that in your genes too. Yeah, and she's still doing new things, which astounds me. And I think that's key to staying young as well and keeping that brain trained. I agree too. She's fiercely independent, lives alone, yeah. doesn't need anybody. Remind you of anyone? <laughs> um, but the texts that come through are either very short and cryptic and I don't understand them or pages and pages long. Amazing. And if you've got a mum who's over 80 with a mobile phone, you'll know exactly what I mean. This one just came through the other day. Hello, darling. <laughs> That's how my mum speaks to those that are uninitiated with Patty Swan. Hello, darling. I'm feeling super pleased with myself. Doesn't take much these days. I'm on a tram Going to the National Gallery of Victoria. Yes, Patty. I had to get a card and find out the time of the tram, etc. But I think it is still easier than trains. As you know, <laughs> the constant danger of being sucked down the little slit <laughs> and certain death on the rails. But I feel good that I have done this. P. 
Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Got another one. The detail. I, I know. I love that. I, my favourite part is, um, but I still think catching a tram is easier than trains, as you know, the constant danger of being sucked down the little <laughs> slit. slit. I remember we, if ever we caught a train to the show or, you know, into into a shop or whatever, the look of abject terror on her face as we stepped across, it's probably about a 10 centimetre gap. Yeah. Yeah. Would rock her. Yeah, because she read somewhere a hundred years ago that someone had fallen of down course. there. It's not possible. Um, anyway, I said, this is amazing. I'm so impressed. Did you survive? She said, so easy. I got on at the corner and I stepped off at the entrance of the art gallery. They've built up roads, so the tram floor and new built-up bit that you step onto are the same height. <laughs> I've now got a Mikey card and I can work out a timetable. I could be going on tram trips just for fun. <laughs> What a joy. What an what absolute amazing joy. Woman, we love you, Patty. <laughs> Keep them coming. The Chrissy Swan Show. Five nights in Vegas. One thousand dollars spending money and Kylie Minogue live. Hi, this is Kylie Minogue. It's Chrissy's Kylie Cassettes. Kylie's new album, Tension, out now, featuring hits that um that um and tension. I mean, I'm very old school. In that intro, it says five nights in Las Vegas, tickets to the sold-out residency and $1,000 spending money. If it was me, I would have also said flights included. True. They are included. Of course they're included. That's a good edit. But that should be in there, Taylor. We're not just going to give you the tickets and go, ha, ha, get there yourself. (laughs) I would hope not. (laughs) We would not do that to you. How cruel, how badly do you want to win this, Tay-Tay? Going to Vegas, honestly, that is like a dream come true for me. A dream come true. Do you love a bit of a cocktail and a gamble? Oh, absolutely. (laughs) I can can tell, Taylor. And, Taylor, most importantly, do you love Kylie Minogue? Absolutely. Grew up listening to her as a kid and love her so much. Oh, my God. This is a dream. All right. Now, this is how it works. We're going to play you our warped cassette of a Kylie song. I pulled it straight out of my Daihatsu charade. (laughs) Um, And you'll have to guess what the song is. We're going to be timing you on your guess as well. So the quicker you say it, the better the chance you have of winning, okay? Cool. Awesome. On Friday, keep your phone on. Whoever's guessed this song correctly in the shortest time will win this life-changing trip. Okay, have you got your listening ears on, Tay? Yes, yes, And just I scream the name of the song the minute you know it. All righty, All let's right. hit play. On a night like this? Yes, yes. that's it. Well done, Taylor. Thank you. <laughs> ah, you are in the draw. Oh, my God. Thank you. Best of luck, Ladybug. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll be playing again tomorrow, so make sure you've registered via the Nova Player app. Chrissy Swans, the masked singer, watch and win. Thanks to the masked singer, 7.30 p.m. Mondays on 10. Got a thousand dollars burning a hole in my hand, Nikki. Am I going to give it to you? Do you have the code word that popped up on the screen last night, just before we unmasked the great Shayna Blaze? I do, and it's mask. It is. I found that very confusing. I was watching it, and I was like, "Is that the code word, or is it the name of the show?" No, it is the code word, and that's a thousand dollars for you, Nikki. Yay, thank you. That's awesome. Thanks, Chrissy. I've got to ask, Swanee, how did she get away with that being on the block on Channel 9? Very interesting, Nikki. Were you surprised to see that it was Shana? Yeah, I was actually, yeah. Yeah, because Wouldn't she's so... Move, yeah. That's brilliant. She's so synonymous with uh, Channel 9, and I did say to her on stage afterwards when I was like, you cheeky squirrel. Mm. Uh, I said, how did, you do, how did you get away with this? She goes, I didn't tell them. So she didn't get permission to do it. Maybe she's in trouble today. Scott Cam hates her now. <laughs> Let's do clickbait. Chrissy's clickbait. She has had a facelift and she's not afraid to tell you. Which is kind of big given she never showed her face for a long time. Yeah. Like. Why the turnaround, I wonder? I mean, look, she says, I'm a pop star that normally hides my face and doesn't lie about poop. Sia told the audience at a recent event. 
And she must be, like, quite close with the doctor because the event was a medicine event. It was an outstanding achievement in medicine award that she was giving to her good friend, Dr. Ben... This is like something from a movie. So she's gone to a medical convention with her new face... And given the award to the man that did it. Yeah. She must be proper happy with the job he's done. Absolutely. She said, I got an amazing facelift from Dr. Talai. He is incredible and he's doing so much good work and not just for the pop stars of the world. She does look fresh. She does. And I like this because it happens a lot. So at least he's just open and honest about it. Yeah. It's the most unusual story, but I think, I mean, good on you. I could not care less what people do with themselves. Could you? No, absolutely not. I have no judgment whatsoever. I do judge this woman, though. <laughs> the caption is, I had relations with a ghost every night for 20 years. Let's just let that sink in for a minute. Mm. I mean, a lot of people in long-term relationships would agree, <laughs> <laughs> would agree with that. This guy's a ghost, but then she dumped him when she saw that he had fangs and the face of a gargoyle. What is she on? What is going on here? She had nightly relations, a romp, if you will, with the same ghost. At least it was a monogamous relationship. True, true. Um, and it was only after 20 years of daily frolicking, nightly frolicking, that she saw his face and the thing that put her off was not the fact that he didn't exist, <laughs> was the fact that he had fangs and the face of a gargoyle in her <laughs> imagination. Oh, Paul. I mean, wouldn't you go with... I mean, that is a great relationship, really, because it's just the good stuff and none of the bad stuff. And it's completely of your imagination. Wouldn't you just keep the good stuff and then just put, like, Travis Kelsey's face on it? Yeah, true. Like, imagine that. Yeah. But I want to know, like, I'd love to ask Paula, if you're having relations with a ghost, yeah. does the good stuff still happen at the end of those relations? We are so full of questions Do you get to her. that destination with the ghost? Paula, Paula Flores, if you're listening, please call us, 13 20, <laughs> We've got so many questions. <laughs> hey, we are off to Sydney yes. to go to the Priceline prescription live event tomorrow we're so excited we're going to meet our beautiful listener corinne and her bestie we're going to go crazy and i'm going to pick up everything on the list that we did earlier today for you guys that are missing out you'll get to see all the action as well on our instagram at the chrissy swan show bye now check this out the chrissy swan show is a nova podcast for more great comedy shows like this head to novapodcast.com.au